Hey y'all, welcome back to the Browse Bunch. I'm Courtney if you're new here and it's time for another grocery haul. This week I went to two different places. First I went to Aldi, then I hopped on over to Walmart. I didn't do Walmart grocery pickup like I've done the last couple weeks, but at Walmart I spent $133 and then at Aldi I only spent $31. I got some pretty yummy looking stuff over there that I'm excited to try out but I will be leaving the prices down here in the corner like usual. And then at the end of the video, I will be sharing the meal plan and what we plan to make for the week. So stay tuned till the end to make sure you see that. But if you enjoyed the video, make sure to give it a thumbs up. And if you're not already, I would love to have you subscribe and become part of our YouTube family. I just hit 800 subscribers today. So I'm super excited and just wanted to say thank you guys for your support and all the comments that you guys leave down below. I love reading your comments and getting to know you guys as well. So just thank you, but let's get on into the video. I'm going to start with the Walmart stuff. So I got two gallons of milk because we've been going through a lot of milk and then some orange juice, Lucky Charms. Grant has been asking for Lucky Charms. So I got those. I actually saw these at Aldi for a smaller box, but more expensive because I looked it up really quick on my Walmart app to just to compare prices and it was more expensive. So I waited and got it at Walmart. Sorry if you can hear the cats in the back. They are like beating each other up playing. Um, I got another pizza, the Red Baron. Then I got the kids some of these smoothie drinks, the strawberry kiwi and strawberry ones. Got a big bag of cheddar cheese because I'm almost out of that. Some slices of cheddar cheese. And then Jennifer made me do it, Southern Mama Drama on YouTube. I've seen twice now that she got these and it says eat or bake and I'm all about some cookie dough. I've bought like the tubs of cookie dough that's actually made for eating it before, but they're more expensive than this. So I was all about that. I also saw that they had like a Reese kind as well. It looks really good, but I really like the traditional just chocolate chips. So I got some of that to try out. Got some hamburger dill pickle chips, some butter, cream cheese, some of these honey butter biscuits. This is my favorite kind to get, the flaky layers kind. Two dough sheets for a breakfast dish that we love to make. A staple in our house, Nutella. Then I saw these Dr. Pepper baked beans. I've never tried these. If you watch my What's for Dinner videos, you see that I usually make my own baked beans. So I'm not sure if I like them, but I love Dr. Pepper. So I thought I'd try them. If any of you guys have tried them and like them, let me know in the comments down below. I got two things of green beans just to stock back up on a little bit. A thing of salsa, Thousand Island dressing, Bisquick for a few recipes that I'm making because last week I got the Krusty's brand to like actually make pancakes, but I got this to make some recipes that for dinner. I got two things of Capri Suns just to keep on hand. The grape kind and strawberry kiwi. Some elbow macaroni noodles. I'm not sure if I said bread, but I got bread. Then I thought I would try these for the boys. Porter is so picky. And it's been kind of hard to get him to eat lately. Like he used to do so good. And then I think this is around the same time that Grant got really picky too. And he's coming out of it now and like eats or at least tries everything. But Porter is very picky. So I thought I would try these and just see if he would eat some of that. So I got the ham and cheddar for Porter and then the turkey and American for Grant. Got us some more thick cut bacon, some chicken tenderloins. And then I saw these and they looked pretty good to make like Philly cheesesteaks out of. I've never tried them before, so I'm not really sure. I probably won't actually make them this week and save them for next week's meal plan since I already had this one done, but I saw those and just picked those up anyway. Then some ground beef, some tortilla chips. We pretty much always get those. Some honey ham. They didn't have the Walmart brand um, and I was actually going to try that out this time, but they didn't have it. So I just got the Hillshire Farm. Also, the bread, they didn't have Walmart bread in that either. They were out of a lot of the breads, so I had to get the more expensive kind. Got some thick and fluffy waffles. This is my favorite kind to get, and the boys like those too. And then some garlic bread, some s'more cereal. I also saw that from Jennifer's channel, and we love the s'more cereal, so I got some of that. And then these caught my eye in the freezer section. I love me some s'more, so I'm excited to try that. It looks yummy. I hope it tastes as good as it looks, because wow, yum. Got some more butter sticks, some sausage, bacon pieces. And then Travis has been saying that he wanted some like drink mixes or crystal light, just something like that. So I got him some blackberry lemonade ones and fruit punch ones to try. Rotel. And then you guys know that I have not been able to get Velveeta mac and cheese. And once again, they were completely out of the normal kind of mac and cheese. Most of the macaroni was gone actually, 
but they did have this broccoli one, so I just got that to try. Then an 18 count thing of eggs and some more Nutri-Grain bars. Now I will show you what all I got from Aldi. Now at Aldi, I got these croissants. I made chicken salad yesterday and took it over to my brother's house. We actually had a yard sale the last couple days and um, I made that to have for lunch and we ate all the croissants, but I still got some chicken salad left, so I got some more of those. Also made from no cheese, so that'll be good for those. I saw these and I love cashews. It's individual size packs, seven of them. Salt and pepper cashews, it sounded good, so I got those. Raspberries, Grant has been picking off my brother and sister-in-law's um, berry bushes and eating them all. So apparently he likes raspberries now. He didn't used to the last time I got these. So I just decided to get some of those to see if he would actually eat them when I buy them. Got some strawberries for me and Porter. We're the ones that love strawberries. Got some romaine hearts, a bag of yellow onions, a bag of honey crisp apples. I saw this seasoning and it sounded really good. It actually looks really good too. Roasted garlic and herb. I thought that would be good to season some of the meat. Got some minion fruit snacks. Oatmeal cream pies. We all love those. And then I've been loving the cheese crisp, like the name brand from Walmart. And they're kind of expensive and these weren't that cheap either, to be honest. But I got the jalapeno parmesan ones and they also had regular parmesan too. But I thought the little bit of kick would be really good. And then these last two things, I think I saw on Carla McKenzie's channel and they looked really good. So I picked those up. I got the aged cheddar and black pepper kettle chips. And then the dill pickle flavor popcorn. So that was all from Aldi. Okay, so for the meal plan, first just let me show you this mini board. I love it. I've seen a few different YouTubers that had this one and I bought it through one of their links. But I just absolutely love it. I needed a new one anyway. And I like that it has the grocery list and the notes on it. And it came with like the little markers. And then I just got this little, little holder thing for them. They actually have magnetic things on them as well. But I thought that was really cute and I got one. So tonight we're making the Bisquick burrito bake and having some rice as a side. Monday will be pork loin with some pasta salad, potatoes, and then probably another side as well. Tuesday is chicken spaghetti and actually a subscriber told me about that one and it just sounded really good so I'm going to make that. Wednesday is Big Mac tater tot casserole. Thursday will be a crock pot meal for a future crock pot video. You guys seem to really enjoy the last one and I love crock pot meals so I thought I would put together another one of those. Friday will be pizza night. Saturday is eat out or leftovers. But I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you want to see any of these four um, suppers that we're going to be making, make sure you are subscribed and have your notification bell turned on so that you don't miss out on that video that will be up on Friday. But I will see you in the next one. Bye, y'all.